sausage. I got my barbecue shoes on. I'm going down to the house for sausage. I got my barbecue shoes on. I'm gonna put me a brat in a red hot foot long. Welcome to barbecuepitboys.com. Today we're gonna do a carpet bag steak on the grill. Man, this is real easy to do. Here I've got uh, charcoal on one side of the grill doing some indirect heating. And here I got a couple of steaks. This here is a nice rib steak here. That's a first cut rib steak. It's about an inch thick. And here I've got a New York strip. And uh, this is about an inch and a half thick cut. All right, so the idea here is to get a nice thick cut of steak. Now here's the magic to this carpet bag steak. Here's some fresh shucked oysters coming out of Washington State. They're real good eating this time of year. And here we got some salt, pepper, garlic flake there. And we got a little bit of butter. And uh, here I've got some skewers. Uh, you can use toothpicks. I don't have any toothpicks, so uh, I'm using skewers. All right, now, to get started here, about the only thing we have to do is uh, trim off a little bit of excess fat on this steak. Because uh, what we want to do here is uh, we're going to make a pocket. So you want to take your knife and make a nice slit in the side of this steak here because you want to you want to make a pocket because we're gonna we're gonna stuff these steaks full of those fresh Washington State oysters right there all right that's kind of easy to do now it's better you get an inch and a half thick steak like on this New York strip whereas this rib steak here is about an inch thick but you can still uh, make a pocket out of it again trim off a little of that excess fat Just make a slit in the top. All right. Now this uh, carpet bag steak recipe goes back to the late 1800s. America was a uh, newly in industrial revolution with a lot of money, a lot of rich, and they really loved everything with uh, oysters on top. It was like a newly discovered food. So here we go. We're gonna stuff them with uh, with these oysters. You just pack them right in there. Man, there's nothing like carpet bag steak. I mean, you're talking ultimate surf and turf here. All right, just stuff them full. Then you want to grab a toothpick or some skewers. Three or four in each steak, maybe just want to seal it up keep those oysters from jumping out all right now because I'm using skewers here I got my linesman pliers here I'm just going to cut off the excess All right. Now you want to put on some salt, pepper, and a little garlic flake here on each side of the steak. All right. They're ready to go. Now we're going to let it rest for a little bit here. Because uh, next we want to make up a little steak sauce. Here we got the grill going again. Some uh, charcoal on one side. We're, make, uh, we're gonna make a steak sauce here. Now you choose your favorite steak sauce for this. Uh, something off the shelf maybe. Or you can make up, uh, make up this simple steak sauce here with a little bit of dark beer. Maybe about six ounces worth. And here I got some brown sugar put about a quarter cup in put a little bit of salt pepper garlic in there a little pat of butter 
give it a good mix. Let it melt on that sugar. Be careful about heating up that spoon over the fire. It gets real hot. All right. Move it off the direct hole there. You want to simmer this for a while. Now I'm going to add some Worcestershire sauce, maybe about a tablespoon. these steaks on the grill. Now we're going to sear these steaks just a couple minutes each side because the whole idea here is to uh, create a texture on the outside. You're not trying to heat up the uh, oysters on the inside because that's not going to happen. You're basically going to be eating some fresh shuck oysters. Some delicious steak. Now, when doing it like this, uh, what'll happen is the searing is going to draw a lot of that fresh sea taste right into that steak. And if you love oysters, you know what I'm talking about. It's like being right down at the seashore. All right, let's flip it. Again, just a quick sear each side. You smell that? It smells good. All right, we've seared them each side here. We'll move them off to the direct coals. You want to be careful to overcook. You want to basically serve up this steak medium rare or rare. cover on, put down the flames. All right, another couple of minutes has gone by. These steaks are done. But before we pull them off the grill here, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna take those oysters that are left over and we're gonna fry them up in the pan just for a couple minutes. couple more minutes has gone by. These oysters are frying up good. Take the steaks off the grill. Man, life is good when you're eating carpet bag steak at the pit. Take a look at it. All right, now, these uh, steaks are traditionally served on a bed of uh, fresh French fries. Now, of course, you can serve your own sides, maybe a little coleslaw, that work.
take these fried oysters and pour them all over that steak. that steak sauce. In fact, let me apologize here. I'm going to eat some of this right in front. So the next time you're looking for a recipe for your barbecue, you check out barbecuepitboys.com. <laughs>